sometimes when you're scouting for a lot of will uh, it's not enough to look to the canopy but sometimes it's a good idea whenever you see a tree like this that is dropping leaves see them on the floor there and the others are not on either side uh, this tree probably has it I really don't see any major beetle attack or galleries so we need to take it to the next step of checking the branch inside hard to see but I think I see a ring around it with a couple of spots sinks we strongly suspect it we're gonna check one of the major branches. This is the challenge of Flora Wilt. This branch is pretty clean, but this other branch, clearly you could see the staining, pretty advanced of Flora Wilt. This tree has to be pulled out. I have spent close to 15, 20 minutes just on one tree alone to determine whether it needs to be pulled or not. Behind me, you could still see the leaves drops, which is a very big sign, but it took a while for me to determine that the tree has lower wheel and that it needs to be pulled off. The tree we removed a few days ago was right here in this spot. Uh, this is the next tree in line that is showing signs of leaves dropping. It's kind of a strange tree, it has been pruned aggressively, but a long branch remains there uh, the tree looks very green on the other side so i think we're gonna have to look further into this since we've seen no beetle galleries uh, and the branch was clean let's check these roots which is in the direction of the hole of the doesn't look like it this is the challenge of laura wilt We're gonna check out these branches that we just cut to see how they look. Very, very clean. There is disease here, but not, doesn't look like Rafaela Lauricula. This is something else that I have seen as a result of Phytophthora. This is the ultimate test clean all around the point that I want to make is I've been here working on this situation for at least an hour and a half and at the end I don't have anything this will give you an idea of what the future holds for avocado growers having to handle lower wheel disease in their growth this is why I say do everything you can don't let the wheel go underground because it then it becomes a nightmare to manage it. Now we're going to look at that other branch that we did not look at yesterday. I woke up like at two o'clock in the morning thinking about that it may be in the other branch. So we're gonna use a chisel and a hammer. We make a square so we could pop it out. and see what we see. <laughs> At the beginning, it was not clear, but now as I continue to dig deeper into it, the staining from the Raphaelia lauricola looks very clear at the end of the clip. No question about it. This is definitely loyal will. I don't even have to send it to the lab. Symptoms don't lie. This is a good case to illustrate the difficulties and the challenges of scouting for Laura Wilt. Some of the branches, even the roots on one side had no symptoms. But I came back the next day, I saw more leaves on the ground 
and look back at my memory in the nine years of fighting Wilt. Whenever this happened, there was always Wilt. So I came back with the idea of looking at it to see if there was more, and in fact, there were more leaves on the ground. So there had to be some Wilt here, and we had to check the uh, other branch, and it came out positive. Now the tree gets tagged to uh, be removed and since it's already coming from one tree a few days ago, two trees, I'm going to take the clean tree next to it. That way we can probably stop it right there.